Yeah, so as many of y'all know the, the whole news about as many as as, uh, as many of y'all know the news about Ed Reed and him getting fired from Bethune Cookman, all that situation has been going down recently, and everybody in the whole HBCU community is talking about you know how he should have handled it and how things should have went down, and you know you got you got the one side of people who are like you know what um, that's not how you handle um, problems with your employer and and it don't make HBCUs look bad and this and that and you should have kept it off the internet, and then you got the other people on the other side where it's like. Okay, he wasn't wrong with what he said, and that Bethune Cookman should have just, after he had expressed his apology, accepted it, put their pride to the side, and just accepted it, and let and let's just move on and continue to, you know, with the relationship because because of what he's gonna do for the kids and for the school and all that. It's a very very interesting situation, honestly, and I and like I, I've sat with it and I've kind of looked at both sides and try not to get too emotional with both or, or, or with the situation because you know to me both sides make a lot of sense. If if it were any other, excuse me, if it were any other person, right, or any, or I guess any normal person at your job, and you made a video, and you, you and you took your phone out, and you went on IG live, or you started recording a video, and you recorded um, yourself walking around your uh, your your uh, your, uh, your your place of work, and you were talking about how oh man the aisles is ugly the manager is trash i can't stand it here man what the hell's going on this and that and you posted that and it got a bunch of views and they somehow got back to your to your to your um to your boss whatever you would get fired for sure you would definitely get fired i think that him going on him going him going and making the ig live and it was it was a little funny to watch, but it was kind of sad because there was trash. I mean, he talked about how he was picking up trash. There's video of his players literally taking time out to go and pick up the trash around the school and stuff like that. And he talked about how his his even his office wasn't clean. His office wasn't clean before he got there, which that's that's unacceptable. That's that that that's wild. So having Ed Reed on campus and helping him with the with the facilities and the resources that he was gonna have, I think he even had people like Shaq that were willing to pitch in and put money up to help him out. Which that would have benefited the school greatly even after Ed would have left. Because who knows how long he would have been there. Kind of similar to Jackson State. What Jackson State, what's, what's happening at Jackson State? Even the recruits that Jackson State is getting now, it, it's in, it, there is some, there, um, within that is somewhat Prime's doing. To an extent, simply because they, a lot of these recruits, like, like they're getting recruits from fucking like Georgia and Tennessee and Oregon transfers, right? From Power 5 schools. Would the, most of these players have even thought about going to a Jackson State before Dion had got there? No, Dion put Jackson State on the map when it comes to football. It's a weird situation. I'm seeing now that um, some of the players are even starting to protest and and want him reinstated and stuff like that. And even the players are like, "Hey, man, like it was he shouldn't have did that and and gone on IG live and said all that type of stuff." But he apologized. He knew he was wrong about it. And let's just move on. Like what he's like people, you got kids transferring in to come and play for him or, or kids that maybe have one more year of eligibility left and we're thinking about leaving. And now it's like they and they decided to stay. And now the transfer portal is closed. National signing day is about to begin and you don't have a head coach. So now all these kids are kind of just stuck at BCU with like, you know what I mean? Like they're kind of stuck and have to wait until I think what that's like maybe like the spring and, you know, positions is being filled. So. They kind of just stuck there, so it's 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 a it's it's just a bad situation overall. But I think the main thing that can be learned from this is that we got you you got to move a certain way. You got to move a certain way, you know. Even if what you're saying is right, and I believe what he's saying is right because Ed said it was right, and I don't I don't think Ed would lie. And there's players that are and, and there's players that are basically um, seconding what he's saying. Ed like 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 there's players that are saying, look, he's right. Everything he said was right. And that he's done more in the past two weeks he's been here than, than most of the administrators have done in years of being here. And he's done more for us in that short time. So I really hope that he gets reinstated. I don't think it's going to happen. But I really hope and pray that all the protesting that goes on works. But at the end of the day, we got to move a certain way, man. There's, there's ways to handle a uh, uh, problem with the administration. I hope, I hope everything works out for those kids. Because at the end of the day, I don't really care about the administration. I care more about those kids. Because the, cause the administration, they have their money. They have their families. They have, they have everything set for them. It's these kids they are trying to build their lives up and get their futures going that, I've, that, that I'm thinking about. So y'all let me know in the conversation. Y'all let me know in the conversation what y'all think um, should happen next at BCU. Should they bring in state ed? What should, or, 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 or what should the plans be going forward? I'm going to leave it there. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.